Hey everybody, I'm Blitz. Welcome back to another video of a game called Planet Coaster. So this is going to be the first of kind of our time-lapse series. I guess that'll be a, a decent way to put it. What I'm planning on doing for this series is just building up um, a, a park, I guess would be a, a decent way to call it. It's not really going to be a park in, in the main theme park sort of vibe of a game, but it'll be fun and it'll be interesting and something different that I haven't seen anyone do before. Uh, my building skills aren't the greatest, but I've got a cool idea and I, I hope to grow my building skills through this. So what I plan on doing is every every time I'm going to record this, or most of the times anyway, I plan on recording for about an hour and then after the hour is up, then I will take the, uh, the time-lapse footage like this and, and speed it up. And once it's sped up, then I'll show you guys, and I'll come back here and talk it over with you. I know some of you guys don't really like that. Uh, you'd rather have me edit things up and make it more interesting. But frankly, this is the best way that I can play this game with the limited time that I have while I'm still working my day job. So um, it's it, it's going to have to work. I do definitely want your guys' feedback to tell me how you like it and what you think about it and what else you would like to see. And then um, maybe some nights I'll do a, like a, a live stream where I'll, I'll live stream this straight up and then we can talk about it as we're live streaming and then I'll do a recap video the next day. So I think that be, could be kind of fun. So let's just kind of start talking about what we got going on here. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to build a dwarf castle. Uh, some of you guys know that one of my favorite games of all time is Dwarf Fortress. And uh, I've always had the idea to create Dwarf Fortress in different games, like Minecraft, creating a, a Dwarven Fortress that's living and lively, and you've got a dungeon down deep, you've got a minecart trail that goes through lava, you've got all sorts of really cool stuff that is kind of Dwarven. So think like Lord of the Rings, you've got the dwarves, or The Hobbit, where they live down deep and they attract things like dragons, and they live in lava, and they've got their minecart trails and stuff like that. So I figured, hey, you know what? We've got terrain building tools. We've got uh, some pretty cool stone-looking things that we can make a, an entrance out of. We've got uh, kind of a there's a, like a fire blower mister thing in the game and all sorts of really cool things maybe the cracking down deep into a lava puddle something like that with a um a roller coaster going through it i figured it'd be a kind of a good combination to to try it out uh with that said i am still kind of a rookie at the game you can see i'm, I'm having a hard time trying to understand how the blocks fit together again because it's been a few months since i last played in alpha one and uh so it's just taking me a little bit of time to get used to it again and trying to find out where everything is and, and then the sorting and all that stuff because there's a lot of parts in the menu and it takes quite a bit of time to to get it going. So like I said, I've got this um, the idea to make the Dwarf Fortress and I thought I'd start with the castle walls and stuff like that. Uh, we've got the castle walls and they're they're decent. Uh, I like the, the hewn rock look of it where it's like a, a solid mass. Oh, there we go. I can finally fill in that hole. Uh, and then I found that other, the the roofing accent deal, and uh, that worked really, really well for, like, it's got the darker gray, and then you've got the whiter color for this. So I decided to save this as a blueprint to kind of save where it's going, and I can tinker with it later. And I also want to try to duplicate it and put it behind it, and I, I was trying to get it in the same uh, building, if that makes sense. There's, you can save buildings, like right now it's two different buildings, you can tell it's a building, by the, the footprint that it has, and if you select one, it doesn't select the other. So there's a difference, and I decided to to build a <laughs> build a little dinosaur too. So um, I, I just had a, a little bit of trouble with the blueprints. I need to figure that out and work with it more. But it looks kind of cool. I, I like the way that turned out to begin with. Um, I, I definitely changed up here as the time goes on. But it's a it's it's a good solid starting point. What I've decided to do is, is create the entrance, and if you've seen like Iron Forge in World of Warcraft where you've got this big imposing entrance where you've got these really tall guards standing there with their swords, and you've got uh, like um, all sorts of statues and stuff in the entrance, and then once you walk inside, you know, it, it kind of opens up inside the mountain, and you've got all these other things, but you have to create an, like a, um, you have to block off the valley. And that's what I've decided to do here is create like a little wall that we can we can block off the valley and we can build it up to make this this big imposing um, like mosaic and and stuff like that. And I'm probably butchering the the artsy words because I really don't know what they are. 
So we've got the main the main door and I'm trying to figure out how to best put the slope down. These slopes, I've had a hard time with them, and you can't create like a you can't put multiple side by side to create a, a full roof out of them. Or at least I haven't figured out how to. So you, you have to on the on the horizontal the horizontal grid you have to abide to certain rules and the vertical grid you get a little more freedom to it. So you, you can't or I didn't find a way to, to clear it out and, and make it work. So I do a slope. I like the sloped look, uh, but I'm having a hard time when it goes around the corners. And we'll see that here in a second. So let's readjust those and bring it down. There you go. I, I really like how it works with that circle, with that, that column, and then putting that on the top and, and you've got these other white accents to it. Uh, so I bring that down and I'm gonna grab a, another flat one here pretty soon and come around the corner. See, I just can't figure out how to do that edge corner there. It, it lines up and I, there isn't a diagonal piece that I could attach to it, or maybe there is. Huh, yeah there is, because you can just put it to that face and it should work. I didn't even think of that. Oh well. Not like a, a need to do it. I, I changed it up in the future anyway. Because, uh, yeah, I changed it up right now. Because I, I want it to be set into a mountainside and and make it look like an actual fortress rather than kind of just sitting out on the outside and uh, watching the world go by. So I, I like that better. It's more symmetric. It, it looks, I really like that look actually. Could make um, like a, a castle base. I guess that's the kind of the whole idea is making an entrance to a castle. So my next idea is to create like little 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 bit of depth, and this is where I was talking about. You can't put a wall back to back if uh, it's in the same building. So I had to create a second building, and then I can just shove the other wall up next to it. And maybe I'm doing something wrong with that. I'm not not positive, but I create this big extra wall so I have a little guide of where to go. And then once we have this wall up, then I start trying to accent this extra wall. And having two buildings together, uh, it has some good benefits, but it's also kind of iffy. So look at that. That's pretty cool, isn't it? You got this big wall, and you see the depth with the, the different layers of stone in there. Then we get the entranceway coming open. It's not quite imposing yet, but it's starting to get there. I continue making the, what is that called? Around the corner, what's the corner? I don't remember what the corner of a castle's called. Yeah, it's, it, it kind of reminds me of, um, what is that? It's in, like, Jordan. Um, there's this big thing that's stuck into the side of a mountain. I forget what that's called. But that that's kind of the, the goal of it. So I move that away, and I try to layer, layer some more of these accents on there. And I try to create a secondary wall to help lay the accents. And then, it, I just didn't... I, I didn't want to use those accents there. They, they still didn't look right. So I deleted it, moved the thing back in place, and now I'm sw constantly switching in between the two. And this works a little bit better. But I still can't figure out how to make that top there. Because <laughs> it just, it doesn't line up right. And there's nothing short enough to put there to make it work. So, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know what to do at that point. A at this point in time, anyway. So I start searching through. This is where I kind of get lost and I want to add additional things and figure things out. Try to give us some more depth on the front, some more sight lines so you can, you can look at different things and see how it goes. Um, this is one thing that bothered me too. So I'm placing these arches in and I place the arch up and it's it's flush. Like the, the, the stone is flush on the back. See, one side I've got it, I've got it sticking out now and then we put it back in the flush, and then we get this little accent deal, and that sits right on the face. So it's either too short or too long. You can't put it there, because it doesn't, it's shorter than the wall thickness, like on that left one there, and you got a little bit of a gap. And I just didn't know what to do with that. And then I, I zoom out and it looks stupid, because we've got um, straight lines, and then we got this arch, and it doesn't really match up good. So, I don't know, it was a good test, a good, trial to see what's going on there, but definitely not worth it in the long run. That was my thought anyway. Uh, so I'm just going to move that out of the way and then we'll come back in here and I've got some more interesting building. Oh, this is where I 
Okay, so this next thing I do, this is where I was running into problems again with trying to put things back to back. What I wanted to do is put some slopes in there to give it some actual depth, um, and then create this half floor, I guess would be the best way to put it, like a half floor, and then I can move in like these triangle pieces next to it. Where are they? Can't find the stupid triangle pieces. I guess it would be, yep, these things. So you can't, see there's this gap there. And I haven't been able to figure out how to put them right next to each other, like smash them together. So I try putting roofing on, and you get this tile mixed with stone, and it, it doesn't look good. It's like different ages and different technologies. So I put this back in place, and I think we're just going to go with this for now. Um, I do have some more ideas for actual depth on there. <laughs> yeah, I try covering it up with vases, but it's it, it just doesn't work. You can't center it on the middle. So, I don't know, it, <laughs> I'm trying to grab everything in the, in the catalog, trying to, to make it work, and it just, it just won't, um, I, I, I don't know the best way to do it. <laughs> just fill it in with windows, fill it in with anything. I thought maybe I could, like, find the edge of a window that was the right color, and then I could mash two of them together, and it would work out good. It didn't, it didn't, so I just leave it for now. And trying to make some more depth on the front, adding these things up a little bit more, then we'll put some uh, of those little things on it. And I found some of these other things too, these, I don't remember what they're called. We're trying to put these together and give it just more function, but I couldn't center it. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm not gonna make something that's symmetric and then not centered. So that didn't work either. And I'm just going through all the parts right now, trying to find something that might work. And it just doesn't, it just doesn't work at all. So I don't know what to think. Um, just a trial and error, I guess. So I delete it up. You gonna delete that one too? Yeah, we'll just fill this in all the way across. And now that looks a little bit better. Oh, there we go. Fill it in the inside and try to make this guy go all the way up to the top. Like so. Messed it up just a little bit on that connection in the bottom right. So put in another um, slope on the right side. There it is. And then connect the top. So this looks a little better. Uh, definitely looks better once we put those back in. You got the, the, the sight lines going up and almost like rune stones in a way. I, I really like the way that looks. But I try adding some more things to it and just as <laughs> it's very difficult to to center things in that middle I guess the whole problem relies around the the width the overall width and then trying to fit it onto the road so I should have made the road a little bit smaller and made the entrance a little bit bigger or maybe both uh, I want to have something else that breaks the line of sight in the top but it's just the wood doesn't work none of the banners work none of the signs do anything and I don't know, and and all of the windows are like really small. So I add this thing in, just I wanna look at it, see what the other people have done, and there's like this other piece that I've never seen before that's absolutely fantastic. And I use these over here, as you probably saw, and I mean, that's it, that looks, that just adds so much. Um, once we get this all the way completed, you'll just be able to sit back and see like, wow, that's really solid. Looks really nice. So I, I decided to, uh, what's the word? Um, flip flop them so they don't line up the same. Just make it, uh, what is that word? Uh, my brain's tired right now. Um, shoots. Overlap them. I don't remember. And you hear the, the typing in the background. I need to get the actual audio tracks from the developers because this is just a, a recording of the, the main. Um, title screen the music this is actual in-game music if you didn't know it's the main soundtrack of the game I think it's the opening title okay uh, so my next idea is to kind of create this depth in the other sides and I think if I remove them and then like add an extra um, what's the word add an extra alcove deal inside of it it might help out so I delete the back I've Basically, at this point, decided that I, I no longer need the the back layer and get rid of it. I really want to add back in that that top of the the white lines because I didn't add that in before, or I didn't add it into the 
at the end you'll see that I didn't add it in. So I tried making some of these things and I'm, my thought is like make it go inside, make it an innie instead of an outie, and it didn't really work so good. Um, just didn't look right at all. So change it around and we make this little little deal, make it a little bit extra wide here, like that, and then we can look in there and see how it looks. And this didn't turn out even, so uh, we'll fill it in and then come back. It didn't turn out even, so I uh, just control V, control Z, control Z to undo, and then we add this back in here, and up, and up, and I really like how this one looks. I really like how that turned out. I need to figure out a, a good way to, to fill up that inside, that bottom one, and see how it goes. Yeah, we're gonna just delete that back thing eventually here. So put it in the walls, we'll fill up the side like that, and like that, and then we look at the front. Also need to fill up the whole frontal face. We get rid of the slope on it. I, I really want to add that second bar back in there though. Then we fill this in. Cool. But look at that. Turned out pretty good. Uh, that's a, a good start, but basically out of time for today. Now, there's a few other things I want to add, like this stuff going up the sides just for accents and move on from there. Um, next time I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish up this front probably make it tie into a mountainside somehow uh, just to give a, a little bit of an idea and go from there so thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed if you did let me know and keep your stick on the ice we'll catch you next time <laughs>